it was about uh, representations of Paris in the films of Eric Romare, and it took the form of a remix of Eric Romare's films. And it was a way of, um, I guess, uh, exploring, exploring moving images by using moving images. And so sort of trying to create a kind of a dialogue between uh, voiceover and recut images um, to provide some kind of new knowledge um, on, on Romare. So it's a sort of work of um, digital film criticism, I suppose. My current research interest is uh, focused on uh, cinematic representations of urban space and I'm, I have a couple of projects in which I'm using remixes as a way of uh, looking into that. It's very, it's very time intensive um, and I think that's why a lot of remixes tend to be only two or three minutes long, um, not just because they run out of things to, to remix but just because it takes so much time. Um, so, you know, a standard academic article is maybe six or seven thousand words and you can do that in, you know, maybe a month or six weeks but the equivalent, you know, when you put visuals into it is um, you know, exponentially longer. So I've been working on this for over a year now, really. Um, and I'm still kind of struggling away and chipping away, you know, nowhere near finished. My first idea is to, um, I have an idea to sort of partially fictionalize it. So to have um, a narrative persona overlaid on top of a film criticism. Um, so to turn it into kind of a, a first person cinephilic work. Um, which you know might move towards sort of more conventional um, modes of sort of film festival distribution, um, and if that doesn't work, then alternatively, um, I think just to kind of publish it uh, or kind of put it up on the web, you know, as a as a straight academic work, um, and a lot of a lot of sort of found footage film criticism isn't really commercially released, but it does find its audience through, um, you know, through conferences, through, you know, people kind of, you know, sending people, you know, kind of, you know, BitTorrent, you know, links and stuff like that. Um, so I'd be quite happy for it, you know, not actually to have any kind of an official, you know, existence, but just to kind of be finished, be out there, and maybe, you know, if I kind of place it somewhere, you know, where a few people will see it, it can... I've noticed themes, and a lot of themes are about rhythm, about um, ca camera movement, about space, about editing choices. Um, so I'm, I'm not sure really, like the previous speaker, the one before me said, you know, this is like a, one, a fantastic kind of um, latent kind of form of criticism which may take off and could, you know, could be really big. But I'm, I'm not necessarily sure. I don't, I don't see, you know, every academic doing this, no matter how media literate they become, you know, in the next however many years, I think it does push towards a certain kind of subject matter rather than another. And I think it's kind of spatio-temporal stuff um, is very much at the heart of it.